Hi, this is Mark Childs from Childs Davidson. Welcome to our video series on FMCG issues. You know, it's great to be able to do these videos because every now and again I get to gripe about something that bothers me. And that's going to be the case in this video. I'm going to talk about the global sales function and how it's been evolving over the last 15 years or so and how I think it's being shortchanged at global level. Let me give you a little bit of background first of all, just to make my case. In the last decade, we ran major international benchmarking studies on global customer management. We ran one in 2000, 2004, 2008, and the last one in 2011. As you might expect, we inevitably were looking at how the uh, global sales function was organized and resourced. In, in the year 2000, very few major multinational FMCG companies had chief customer officers and very few of them had uh, global VPs heading up sales either. Between that time and 2008, lots of such positions were appointed. Post-2008, we started to see that unravelling. So we didn't see the kind of continued momentum in the development of the function that I might have expected at that time. Um, a lot of uh, chief customer officer roles started to disappear again. I think perhaps as a result of the GFC and a desire to cut costs. Um, but the main thing I want to comment on is that um, regardless of whether, when they were appointed or whether they were retained, almost none of them were appointed to the Global Executive Board. Almost inevitably, they reported either to a global commercial function or to an area president or even an operations president, but never sitting at the, uh, at the uh, global board level. Now, when we do organisational design work, Organization Design 101 basically says you identify the major chunks of concern that an organization has. And that often relates to the major stakeholders, in fact, that that uh, organization is facing. And you resource against that. And that's how we end up with some of the major functions globally. So when we look at a global executive board, typically you will certainly see a chief financial officer. You'll almost always see an HR uh, head, of, head of function, uh, you will almost always see somebody who's heading up marketing or perhaps a, a global business unit president who's running the marketing function and all of them sitting at the top table. But I ask, surely customers are among the top concerns and certainly one of the top stakeholders of every FMCG manufacturer. They're a huge issue to every manufacturer and they have even growing impact and represent growing risk to the P&L of major FMCG companies. We need only look at uh, the cost of trade spend and trading terms, which for many manufacturers represents perhaps the second or third biggest line item in their P&L. And also, we very often see in corporate missions a statement about desiring to, be, uh, to provide excellent customer service. So it defies belief why global sales isn't sitting at the top table in the corporation. Now, I hear contrary arguments. I hear companies saying, well, you know, customers, even the global ones, make all their decisions locally so we should manage them locally. Well, that's true, but I could make the same argument about operational aspects of finance, HR, and marketing. Now, I hear you say, yes, but for those three functions, we need to establish globally consistent policies and strategies and capabilities. Well, that's true too, but then I believe that's equally true for the global sales function. Again, the case in point is the continuing escalation of the cost of uh, trade spend and the fact that in our global benchmarking of trade spend, we see that the companies who manage that from a strategic point of view globally are doing better than the others. 
Now, I'm not privy to the kinds of conversations uh, that go on inside corporations as to why they make this decision to keep the global sales function out of the boardroom. I am suspicious, though, that there might be a little bit of head in the sand in this. Customers are regarded with uh, deep scepticism by a lot of manufacturers, despite the rhetoric, uh, because of the significant risk they represent. There's a feeling, I think, at top management level that there's a risk in getting too close to customers and that might be good to keep them out of the top uh, decision-making process. Now, I have no doubt that uh, big retailers can be capricious and dangerous, uh, but the voice of the customer needs to be permanently heard in the boardroom. Another dimension of this is probably that sales are seen quite often as being a defensive function rather than a development function. But that's really quite at odds with the modern thinking about the importance of point of sale in the age of the shopper. I believe that the only way forward for major FMCG companies is to achieve quality engagement with their major trading partners. That's a critical success factor. It's mission critical and therefore should be front and centre of discussions at board level. So to global top management, I would say time to bring global sales function in out of the cold and give them a critical permanent seat at the top table. This is Mark Childs from Charles Davidson. Thank you for watching. Thank you.